and welcome back to a city girl in the country kitchen i'm karen and today we're going to make a ham and cheese frittata right here i have a half an onion cook or cut up i have about three quarters of a cup to a half a cup of or to a cup of diced ham i have my eight eggs salt pepper three-fourths of a cup of cheese and some oil to cook the um the onions Right now I'm going to add the oil to the pan so it can get um, hot. I also have about um, four diced up potatoes that I'm going to use in this frittata. This is a very good brunch, very good brunch um, um, dish that you can use. I mean it's quick and it's easy. If you have everything prepared, it's delicious. <clears throat> you have it for brunch. It's good for Sunday brunches, like at the church or you know, anytime like that. And it's really simple. Doesn't cost for many ingredients. You can do what you want. You can have a veggie frittata. You can have a, a meat frittata. So today we're gonna have a ham and cheese frittata. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let this oil get warm. Put it on medium heat. And these are my potatoes. They're cool. And I cooked those for about five. Dice them up. Cook them for about five minutes. And I'm going to let them cool. And then I'm going to add everything in um, towards the end. Let's get these onions in the pan. And we're going to cook these until they get soft. Now my kids love, love breakfast food for dinner, for lunch, for, you know, for breakfast. They love breakfast food. And um, my youngest especially loves eggs. So this is going to be something exciting for him. Now here are my onions going. I'm going to get my spatula. And you can serve this with, um, like before, you can serve it with a nice mimosa or uh, um, you can use this and make a hash brown casserole. And you can have um, all types of little things. You can even have um, uh, this for, um, it's good for like a, a Easter brunch or Christmas brunch to take over to someone's house as a potluck um, type um, dish. So we'll let these get soft. And they smell good. I love onions. Like I said, you can add any ingredients to this that you like. Anything. You can make a spinach and feta, a Greek type frittata. Those are really good too. I'm really into, you know, trying different things. I'm going to let these get soft. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add these eggs. And after those get soft, we're going to add the eggs in. And I'm going to put a little margarine in mine to, um, to keep it, um, a little, give it a little, you know, mm. And so it doesn't stick also. I mean, once you get the frittata in, you have to cut it in or keep it in for about five minutes so it can get firm on the bottom. Then you're going to, you'll see what I'm going to do. It's real simple. You know, onions going. And they're getting soft. And so I'm looking to make sure we get my website up soon so you can visit me. I'm still looking for those emails so that you can, you know, email me a recipe or your comments and questions. I'm here for you. Let's add these eggs in. Because our onions are soft. 
We don't want them to burn. Let's turn this on medium heat. We're gonna add, like I said, we're gonna add our eggs. We're gonna add our ham. It's about half, uh, half a cup of ham. This is already cooked and diced. You can find this in your grocery store, anywhere, already diced, cuts out the work, easy on your um, hands. So there's the ham. Let me wash my hands. So I'm going to get my cheese out. We're going to add that until it gets firm. And when we come back, you're going to see, like I said, after we add our cheese and we're going to firm up our egg on the bottom for about five minutes. Then we're going to put it in the oven for about another 20 minutes so with the, all of the egg and the cheese and everything can cook together. And you'll see exactly what we come back with. See you in a minute.